Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2 and today I'll be playing with these new Dilutions paints that I received from Tupelo Designs LLC. This was my design team package and um, I was very uh, grateful when they sent this to me because I was really excited about these paints when uh, it was introduced at CHA this year. Um, because of the fact that uh, those of you guys that have been watching me for a while know that um, I make a lot of cards. So um, from a card maker's uh, point of view, at least uh, my mine anyways, um, is I don't work, uh, I'm not too familiar with paints. I don't work too much with paints unless they are like watercolor paints that are made um, to be used as a coloring tool uh, rather than like a mixed media type of an art or art journals or anything like that. So I am kind of very intimidated by paints. It's something that uh, I'm not too familiar with. It's not like alcohol markers, color pencils, or watercolor markers, or any of those things I use um, all the time. So when I saw these paints introduced, um, Diane Reevely, she made it look so easy and she said to herself that she likes everything easy and easy to work with, uh, quick drawing and um, there's not much to it, you know, it's to uh, cover areas, you don't have to think about like multiple layers and all of these type of things. So I was like, wow, that's something maybe that I can... Um, work with. So I was super excited um, for these. And so today we're kind of um, going to play around with these. So I just received them um, not too while back. And so the, uh, the only thing that I did uh, as of playing around is to make the color charts for you guys to see. And um, just to show here a few. I just put all of mine in this container for now. I um, haven't found a, a storage for these yet, but I think it's best to be stored like this, face up, because this is a very fluid paint, and if you have it upside down um, like this, then, you know, the, it's a very fluid paint, so when you flip it over to use it, I think it'll kind of, like, seep out and uh, spill. So I think it's best to be stored upright like this, or um, before you use them, have it sit like this for a while so that the paints can kind of settle um, evenly. And um, what I did was I just put, like, this uh, Velcro thing here, right here, so that I could just stick one of these uh foam pads on here um, because uh, she uh, when she did the demoing she used uh, this uh, she said she loves to use it with this paint and um, I did want to have one for each color that's why I stuck it to here because I didn't want to cross contaminate or anything like that and uh, because this have a very uh, wide opening you can basically dip your whole um, brush like this and you know use it however way you need so I thought it was um, convenient to just have one for each color so um, here I swatched out all of these okay upside down so here I swatched out all of these colors the colors are very vibrant and um, from doing these color watches I did realize that they are very easy to work with I I really love them. I think this type of paint is perfect for like an amateur um, uh, paint, I guess, uh, using the paint wise because it was very easy for me to work with. As you can tell, the colors are very vibrant and they are very true to the color, as you can see. Um, like for this, for instance, this is the pink. It's basically, um, I don't know, I think my light isn't really uh, catching the true color here. Uh, let me try to kind of turn this one off. And then maybe you can see the true color a little better, maybe. 
think that light is too bright so it was kind of reflecting off of the colors but anyway so um, they are very true to their color you see and this is only one coat see that um, all I did was I just grabbed some with my finger and then I just scribbled it on and this was the coverage that I got with just one coverage so I'm super happy um, there's not much to it and I'm really happy that I can work with these and um, so let's go ahead and uh, play around with some of them and I can kind of um, we can kind of play around with it together so um, like I, uh, I want to mention, for those of you guys that have been watching me for a while, I do do these uh, product focus videos only so that we can play with it together. And I give some um, information about the product, but most of the time we do more playing around thing and we can learn together. Uh, for full detail of these products and things that I do do the photo, uh, product focus on, you can definitely go to their website and you can get a full description of them. So um, I'm not going to go ahead and um, waste my time explaining every single thing. Then we have less time to play with. So um, that's what I like to do. So I have some things here. I chose out some of the uh, paints that I wanted to work with. As I was making the color swatches, I was kind of um, deciding on like my favorite colors that I wanted to kind of play around with you guys. And each time I opened one, I was like, oh my God, this is my favorite color. I want to share with you guys. Oh my God, this is my favorite color. I want to share with you guys. And so uh, I love all of them. They're very bi vibrant. And um, I, I love colors. I have an obsession with colors and I'm just like so fascinated with uh, colors especially that's very bright and vibrant so um, there's several ways that you can uh, use this I have this um, Canon I'm a Canon can Canson uh, mixed media type of thing this is where I do all of my playing around kind of thing um, with and so I'm going to be using this today to uh, play with these um, paints so the first thing is, um, like I said, it's best to kind of leave it like this um, facing up so that uh, the paints can kind of settle because it is very fluid. So when you open it up, look at this bright color. It's so pretty. Oh my God, I can't get over how pretty they are. And if you kind of tip it, hopefully you can see, it is very fluid. So it is really easy to work with. So uh, these paints are uh, semi-opaque. Uh, what that means is that um, it doesn't, uh, if say if I was to stamp out uh, a stamp with black ink, uh, when I put the, when we put the color over it, it will cover a lot of it, but it won't co cover it completely. So. Uh, if it's opaque then it will co uh, cover completely and if it's translucent then you can definitely see um, the stamped image so that's the type of um, inks that I'm used to working with uh, translucent because I color uh, my stamped images with it but of course you can definitely I think dilute these maybe can uh, and then it'll be less um, opaque so um, I don't know about that, but we can definitely play around with. So these paints dry really fast. So I think it's best to uh, like either get a palette knife or get like this and then just put some on um, your uh, craft mat and then work from there only because they do dry fast. And I don't know if you can see, but it's very fluid. So can go ahead and just put some down there and then we can use that and for the um, the color swatches these I just made them now so I noticed they dry really fast 
So, and then another thing is, is because you don't need too much to cover um, uh, this area, the, you don't need a lot of paint to cover an area, that it dries completely flat. Like, there's no warping going on because you have to put so much paint to cover an area. There's absolutely no warping at all. So I thought that was pretty fun. That was pretty cool. So we can um, um, just go ahead and wipe these off. And I use my fingers for these. And I haven't, like, washed my hands or anything like that, like, I'm not like trying to be unsanitary or anything, but I want to show you guys how easily it's um, cleanable just with baby wipes. So I'm going to have um, some wipe here to just clean this off. And um, here you can see that I have this, and this is a lot actually. This is a lot of paint. And I want to show you how much it can cover with just that little bit of, um, see? And then this is dried already almost. It dries the, um, it dries really fast. See, cannot move it anymore because um, they're kind of dried. So that's how uh, fast you can cover an area and that's um, a really like a plus for me because um, oops just dropped my wipes you can see how you can get such a, a smooth even velvety coverage just by using just a little bit of paint and I don't have to put uh, multiple layers or anything like that I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit more can see that I don't think um, for some reason the camera is not really showing the vibrancy of the color it kind of kind of looks a little bit on the dull side but the colors are very very bright almost like a neon type of um, a color and then you can just go ahead and wipe it off and it wipes off really easily I was using this wipe to um, do the color swatches. And then if you want to get um, less color, you can uh, use the wipes and it can um, So this type of paint is like perfect for me for like a amateur paint user. <laughs> so I think this is really fun. You can just I don't know if you can see. Maybe. And there's no waste. You can just put it anywhere. And that little bit of paint. That's pretty cool. And look at the coverage that I got right there. Just from that little bit. And it's a solid coverage. That's what I like. So let's try maybe going to bring in this turquoise see all of them is so nice so velvety fluidy I love it so I'm gonna grab some again these I love all the colors honestly guys this is like oh my god this is like really I can't get over it how um, I can easily use this. So another way that she showed was um, using a brayer. 
so uh, something's what I don't know why my prayer is not moving. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I think something. I haven't used this prayer for so long that it's not there. I don't even know how to use the prayer. <laughs> I don't really use it. And then you can just. You can tell like I'm not like a mixed media person because look. <laughs> but I'm not trying to show you how to um, use, I mean, do a mixed media page or anything like that. I just want to kind of play with you guys on the things that I've seen. I'm sure there's tons of... Um, uh, tutorials out there with these so go ahead and uh, search around okay I'm like this um, I think I need to put something here or something because it's not spinning too well and I don't even know where my other brayers are I know I have other ones okay this is not really gonna um, work for us because it's not spinning. So then I will use try the I'm sure you guys um, that work with like a lot of different paints and things will uh, definitely um, know how to use paints um, in a better way than what I'm doing. Okay, so at this point, um, I've seen her do so I'm trying to just kind of basically copy what she was doing to see if it'll work for me. So uh, she just made little scribbles here and there. And then um, she uh, then again, she kind of put her. It did not work for me. I think these are dried already, maybe. That's why. But she did say that um, these paints work better with her um, cardstock or uh, the mixed media, the her cardstock or her journals. So I'm wondering maybe is that the reason why it's not um, working for me? Because there's quite a bit of paint here. Yeah, but it's probably dried already. So I'm wondering if it's because of the fact that it's not her cardstock. Okay, I'm going to get another brayer. Okay, so I got another brayer and I want to put actually one of my favorite colors was of course this teal turquoise I love the turquoise but then I love this yellow look at that such a happy uh, yellow I love it it's so cool so I'm gonna grab again see there's like a turquoise thing over there Oh, and then um, it dries really fast. I grabbed another. <laughs> OK, 
okay guys I think I don't know how to use the brayer for obviously like I don't know maybe I'm pressing down so hard <laughs> it's embarrassing but um oh but at least this uh oh my god it broke okay I'm having a really bad brayer day so I don't my goodness okay guys this is my third brayer this has never been used either okay <laughs> the paint's probably dried already with me fussing with um But you get the point, I guess. Um, sorry. Just things just don't go exactly the way I planned all the time. <laughs> I'm putting the excess color on it made a green because I'm going to um, stop with the brayer already but to me I don't know like because I'm not really I don't do too many like art journals and which of course I definitely want to try and start because I've been kind of um, getting a lot of things for it so intrigued by it and I think um, it's pretty awesome Jane uh, from Tipla Designs LLC she does some amazing uh, mixed media work they are so cool See, I tried to kind of copy it in a way, um, <laughs> in my own way of, and this is how it is. Okay, but wow, I think for me, I think that's pretty already. <laughs> so, um, but um, I'm going to add a little more yellow because there's um, some areas, I don't know if like, you're supposed to cover the whole thing or supposed to um, just leave some white areas or I don't know I don't what are you supposed to but the uh, paint though however is easy to use I just um, don't know what I'm doing with the mixed media or whatever this art journal is but we're just playing with the paint so please forgive me guys because I did want to uh, try to stencil over it so I do want to cover up some of these and try to make it look pretty as best as I can but the colors itself is pretty so I don't think um, it needs to be like perfect okay so I have this paint also comes with the black I don't know if I um, showed you guys what black looks like but I mean black is black of course but um what I found was that the coverage of the black is pretty amazing it covers really well this is one coat and I just that's all I did so um, it's really black so I like that and I think that's what 
um, she had intended so so that everybody can use these paints um not only you know even an amateur like myself so what I I have some stencils here um, I don't know if this video is being too long or not uh, but I will edit it out so hopefully it won't be too long and I'm not boring you guys it's something you guys already know but this I love um, stencils like this because it has so many different ones this is called mini impressions and this is also from Tupelo Designs LLC I don't know if there's like a right way or a wrong way for a stencil but Look at that Look how black it is isn't that awesome so um, you saw how fast um, the paints dried as I was talking or trying to figure out how to use my brayer and things so it's best to put um, some ink down onto your mat so that um, these paints uh, stay fluid She did say that if you are living in a very dry climate, that um, go ahead and spray some water before you close it, so that the uh, I guess the um, the edges don't get crusted or something. So that's I thought that was pretty interesting. Oh, hello. So oh. For this I put just a little uh, square thing. Um, this is actually from the, the uh, rectangle one because I have so many of these rectangle ones uh, because I used to pick them up every single time like you know when there was a sale so I, I still have a ton of them brand new. Uh, I, I need to pick up some more of these round ones. I picked up like three packages already but um, I've been kind of putting it on everything. So, but these are really good too. The cut and dry a uh, stamp pad. Uh, this is thick, and uh, this is so that you can make your own stamp pads, but also to use um, like a sponge as well. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of the paint right here. Hopefully, this time I'll kind of. You can tell, like, I'm, like, so new at this. This is so cool. Like I know um, I did the one time I kind of tried to do uh, you see how fast it dried? It's dried. So that's pretty cool. It dries really fast. I like this heart. That's cool. Look how black my finger is. Gonna get 
and it easily cleans off. It's just that it goes, it went through my nail, I mean, in between the nail. So black is black, it's dark. I'm going to see if we can stamp with this. And I want to use my fingers or like Okay. Um let's see if we can stamp with this. I have Let's see. I have some oh some stamps here. This is the Paper Art C. This is the mini this is also from Tipu Designs LLC. So this is cool. I love that. The alphas. I think that will look super cool with the black too. But I want to try it with the pink first. I don't know if I lost you guys already <laughs> or <laughs> what. This is kind of, um, I don't know how long it's been. So again, I'm going to take some and put them on my mat. And these um, spatulas, these plastic ones, are super cool. And they're only like 99 cents. Um, so I think this is pretty cool. So I'm kind of going to kind of spread it out a little bit here. Cleaning off using every single bit of the paint. I'm just trying out um, what I've seen her do. But I think this would be kind of cool to um, I've always wanted to try this, the mixed <laughs> media stamping. I thought it was so cool. See, can really go overboard with it easily. But she did mention that uh, for your stamps, you do want to clean them out uh, immediately so that it doesn't get inside like these crevices. Uh, if it dries in there, then um, it's, it's gonna be hard to um, kind of take out. It, it'll be harder for you to clean. Um. So I still have a whole lot of paint here. So I want to try out a different stencil. I've been wanting to try this out. This circles. How fun. So we'll want to put some the circles. Going to use again the paint. Oh uh, look, it's see. Oh no, that's where I put the. If I move these, you probably be able to see the entire book. With that little bit of paint that I put, I mean, I can go on like forever. I don't know if you remember this. Um, I was playing around with. I think this was. I forgot if it was the Gonzai Tombi or I don't know what it was.
you see like it dried so even if I flipped it over uh, right after it still retained um, it didn't like smudge or get on top at the bottom or anything like that that is pretty cool I'm loving this combination of colors here But I do want to uh, stamp. Look at this cool stamp set. I have never used this yet. This is the Prima Finibar. So I'll put all the links to the supplies that I used today. Most of them is from Tupelo Designs LLC. The reason why I do a lot of the videos um, for them um, is, of course, because I'm on their design team. But it's also because I buy most of my products from uh, through them now. So, um, yeah, that's where I get most of my um, stuff. Because they have excellent customer service. And it comes to me in within like a day or two, which is pretty awesome. So I... Um, like to buy it from them so now I have this I have never used these either but this time I'm going to use um, black ink and um, kind of stamp some here and there so again this has never been used none of these sorry if I'm shaking um, It's like a hot mess, <laughs> but um, it's fun. I like I like it. It's fun. Okay. One thing I did want to try, and this will be my last thing that I'm going to try because I don't want this um to be like an hour long. Um, I'm going to quickly snap this butterfly here and see if I can um, use it to kind of watercolor here. dilute it and um, watercolor with it if I can find a brush I don't have, really have that much water here I don't have a jar of water so I'm just gonna just put some and then see if I can dilute it a little bit and see if I can watercolor because the since the colors are so vibrant I would think that you don't need much yeah and then you can this is actually too much water but you can watercolor with it and of course um, I think these paints are, once they're dried, they're permanent. That's why you can layer um, all these colors and it layers nicely. So you can definitely uh, use this to watercolor. That is kind of cool. Then add some more deeper color on the inside. Okay, so I wonder if how much it covers. 
yeah it's semi-opaque so you can still see the line you see like it the ends are kind of um so I think it's best if you uh, wipe it maybe before you put it away if you put a lot of not a lot but this is a full strength so you can see the lines through it um, but it's faint um, that's why uh, it's semi-opaque because it's not completely covering the black lines so that's it today um, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did and see um, all the mistakes and things that I uh, made and so maybe like this is like a um, proud of focus but uh, a lot of what not to do <laughs> so I think um, that was pretty interesting so I hope you guys like this and um, go ahead and um, check out these uh, these paints so these are um, very reasonably priced because there is a lot of it in here there is I believe it says two two fluid ounce is that correct two US fluid ounce there is a lot of paint as you saw um, in these little jars and um, uh, I think they are only $4.99 um, they're excellent priced so go ahead and uh, check them out and play with them um, I am definitely going to use this more often it's just right up my alley it's really easy to use so thank you so much for watching and um, I hope to see see you guys next time thanks so much bye